Friday the 13th of 2019 to this. Really is Friday the 13th, December of 2019. In this video, you by now you must remember me about the stuff that I have spoken about and most of the stuff I have not spoken about. I'm thinking about all these audio recordings I have. When am I gonna post this online? Because, <clears throat> because you know, everything that follows on me is just they create problem out of absolutely everything. Um, for year and a half, I have not seen other than lies and real problems, and these problems extended all the way to crippling me they extended to all kinds of health related physically health related issues uh, which they have anticipated foremost as Andre Duda suggested psychological problems if I cite Andre Duda we will never ever admit your case we will never admit your case. Your case is going to go in front of the International Tribunal case and so on. And even then, and this was sometimes in 2013, 2010, some, something like this. And even then, we will never ever recognize the case. We will postpone the case as much as possible. We'll basically try to cause you as many psychological problems as is possible and this really really fits description of this year and a half uh, I have endured here in Poland it pretty much really fits a proper description of it it was just really nothing than a lies many people that looked when you recognize them um, when you ask them questions, when you when you salute them, this and that, they don't even dare to look at you in the face. You know, like look at you in the face, they look down, you know, with a shame. A shame of what they have done on MK Ultra. Some people, however, they are shameless. In fact, this morning I was thinking about this is the video I will discuss about what kind of stuff I posted yesterday on a new site something about discrimination uh, then I expressed my view on this whole nation how I see one is uh, I'm not gonna apologize for any I don't care whoever wants to listen to this stuff understand one is okay whoever doesn't he can go and turn off this thing to me it's the same this video is re-recorded because yesterday when filming one in the car I was about screaming in the camera for about an hour and this is something that disturbs me because I was so angry that maybe the best described this it was a cross here that was left to me inside of the car with like a little ticket that you should like a prayer that you should read before you use vehicle on how you should you know please god protect um you know traffic uh, people around me when operating the vehicle and stuff like this I ripped the whole thing, I, I threw it in the garbage because I couldn't associate myself with these people here in absolutely any way. They ripped my cross twice, they took one down. They have stolen me Maria literally from the pocket, not only from around the neck, disappeared several times. And so I figured out I don't know anybody, anything here. Uh, any kind of explanations or any kind of spiritual whatsoever association 
And so the last one, this one that was placed inside of the car, I just ripped that off and I threw in the garbage. In a little bit, I'm going to tell you what happened yesterday. Why all this? Why I see it like this? Like I said, for a year and a half, nothing than the problems. Nothing than problems, lies. There are really good people here and there that want to help out. Um, and it's probably why I'm still in this country. I am still in this country because of few good people, because of few few issues, but nothing really is tying me up here. Nothing really ties me here, like something that would be something sentimental or something. Also, this morning I had random thoughts about. I am quite a philosopher, and I am thinking back and forth about how to see all these things and I came to the really really interesting point of view um, I don't care how inspiring or how uninspiring or how you know I don't I don't really care how who want to feel about this I'm just gonna say if you are a subject of MK Ultra, and if it happened to you uh, that the experiences while well, subjected to MK Ultra were negative, and it was something that pertained to that you were prompted, it's going to be in the future. Uh, if you're subject to MK Ultra and things are turning bad for you, like they play out like negative scenarios, understand that those affects your persona, your image in a in a society publicly. Um, it one deteriorates parallel with the violence that is done through on you through MK Ultra. I would suggest you, in my personal opinion, the way I see it, because it doesn't matter basically what you do. In my case, I was actually suggested that you should just change city to another city immediately when you find yourself in something like this. Um, at least you avoid you know the number of stuff the number of setups but here in Poland we were in quite a few cities um, I could do this but yeah I'm seeing like the country as whole not anymore as you know one business one police station one inspectorate let's say one landlord, one city, two cities, three, four cities around here in the area. But I see, you know, like a country as a whole is to me personally completely worthless. I would suggest you that if you find yourself in a situation like this, in other words, that instead of green light it's again the red light that turns on um, one after another stuff like this it is shit actually um, it's quite interesting what's happening but what I'm saying is if you find yourself walking in somebody else's shoes I would advise you if they have some bad scenarios would be the best for you basically to terminate your life I would say I would suggest you that a suicide would be in my personal opinion a very proper solution to that if I did commit a suicide in 2006 I would have saved myself 
13 years of hell. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. It would be way better than to become literally like a doll that is alive, a toy that you don't actually have to move his hands or whatever, but you just create obstacles, a brainwash, a setups that this human toy have to go through. And I'm talking even about the clothing. I'm talking about absolutely everything. You have no idea. This market here with used clothing and everything, this is so controlled through the pricing, through the certain locations you can go through either. And then also through the supply, whenever you appear at certain locations, that you pretty much, you, you, you kind of are left without choice doing stuff. The, where you purchase the stuff, where you do the stuff. One American told me you have to explain, you have to explain how controlled the market itself is, how when you're in a situation, how specific are this? When you're on a low budget, that makes things extremely, extremely uh, possible for one to be completely controlled. It basically turned literally into a human toy. I want to say hello to Justin Timberlake. It's a really nice guy. He was involved in MK Ultra, and I'm saying this because I would want to say, you know, or ask for some kind of help or whatever. Um, the thing about it is the whole set of this Hollywood people was also involved in this case with a very good reason. Elites seek different kind of entertainment. They differ from our tastes. For them, just a family, just a child, just a dog, uh, just a house, just a family life, uh, just to go about the business, to improve your life and stuff like this. This, this is not interesting to them. They are looking for other, other kinds of excitements. They're looking out there to improve their public personas. Uh, views on them from the world and no wonder Prince Andrew well, no it's not that I remember him or something like this I know him really well I know his wife very well his wife was one of the first that was used sometimes in 90 six to actually seduce me she was one of the first that got herself a kind of a mental game uh that how i should see myself in this with this british royals to get me inside of the mk ultra once they subject me to mk ultra that they appeared and all this and andrew associated himself physically facially with me she associated herself with a girl I was with in 2017 in Belarus flirted with me I'm talking about the Andrew's wife under MK Ultra for about like maybe two years or something like this of course nothing came out of that it's just it's just these in person pulling person for the nose and stuff like this so that he would not explode and rebel himself uh, against and later on because of Russians because of Eastern Europeans came up to terms that in fact something like this would not be possible that they could not it looks like they made some deal or something out of it and have instead interjected the girl I was with in 2017. This is 
a girl about three years older than myself and you know a good looking a good looking a good looking lady like Fergie um, very very similar facial characteristics but of course not the same you can see the difference but very very similar to that okay in that sense um, and so you know don't 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 even try to get into this kind of stuff with me whether I know you know Epstein or something like that who was under MK Ultra in 95 at the end of the 95 I know him he was one of the first people the only person before him probably was Clinton this is how I ended on his island and so on who stimulated me under MK Ultra with the math problems besides other stuff and you can imagine what kind of stuff that was with the math problems you know already when I mentioned this stuff math problems and stuff like this nobody mentioned any of that stuff on the internet he would I, I presume that he was a good mathematician Epstein that he was into math and we would sit together and he would all the time torture me with the math problems I don't know maybe to stimulate me under MK Ultra maybe to broaden my horizon or something like I said Epstein was not the worst thing that happened to me in my life So I'm just giving you a little thoughts about that. I mentioned the name Justin Timberlake. This isn't about because again I would expect someone to come forward with anything like this from Hollywood. I mentioned a few other names. There was a whole a lot of more people. They were used as a staff members, partially. And they pulled their tricks and their waves and this and that. I think, as I was told, according to Andre Duda, according to others, the contract for about five, six hundred dollar, million dollars, I'm talking about million dollars, that they signed with elites for this to be literally video recorded like a big brother. involved entire Hollywood Hollywood is connected with Buckingham Palace Buckingham Palace Harry William traveled to Hollywood all the time just you don't know where they were and this and that right now Harry is heading to Hollywood it's not a coincidence it's gonna be takeover of the US right through the Hollywood it's all set in a such a sequence that mathematically prearranged that it's kind of ridiculous. So I'm saying this Hollywood I'm saying because many of them pull these tricks and what I think they have some kind of game going who accomplished what who saw himself in me I should say in which one of them I saw myself in and so on I think it's stuff like this that goes on it can't be any other stuff that goes on none of this stuff I think it's it's a, it's really a coincidence mm, never mind I had a good point here I was gonna make I'm just gonna have to let that go I just want to go to the case now about what happened yesterday enough of this philosophy under MK Ultra in this particular company okay this is just yet another company now to this company just as you know in 2018 when starved completely 
to have nothing, not even for the coffee, not even for the tea. When they destroy everything. I came through another company. It's called Techstone. Right here in the same park where the company... No, oh, this Lex company where I was crippled is also located. This is all the same park, all the same companies we're talking about working. Well, not I'm going to say only on this, you know, European market as a market where they sell, where they got technology from and that's where, where they export back. Uh, but it's a whole lot of other issues that are involved. They also involve... A human force uh, powered by the bloodstream basically companies uh, it's a very very important one because this bloodstream this blood that comes from Ukraine this one is resold to the West for about at least four times of what it costs here you can trust me on that it's a decent decent profits that are made out of it this is not just um, what you get from the West and what also includes a well-paid market but it's also other stuff that goes on it's all kinds of issues that goes on so this was a company that recommended me to this location which is located in Luch it's called Polymex and they do have all kinds of stuff. Uh, the first time I was in this company was with Kaczynski. There must have been some times in, I'm going to say, I estimate sometimes in 2004, maybe 2005, something like this. Maybe it was some other name of the company. I have no idea, but it's exactly what I was told. Um, they would do like emblems like polish uh emblems since this i really really remember it's what kaczynski told me this is where you're gonna buy them they're gonna be like this and like this they're gonna be beautiful and they make sure that you come right there inside there then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the work you're gonna clean the roofs you're gonna clean the yards And when you recognize the people and they give you the green light people, you thank them by signing one of those and you give them, a, you know, like an emblem, beautiful, as basically as a thank you with your name on it. Because you're going to be a big man. You're going to be a king in this country. And so, for less than two euros an hour, in a rain, in a cold, freezing ice, literally climbing the roofs. I did. I did all kinds of stuff. I begged for the sanity here on the streets of a foreign country in Poland. Collected proofs from the people, gave those out. I'm not complaining that they were costly or anything like this. But you know, when you do the stuff like this, you don't do it really for the money. You do it for... It's what I like about life. Basically, it's to see people happy. This is what I like. That's, that's why I'm saying that the way I analyzed the whole thing just for a year and a half, you know, about what went on and what goes on, that this is just um, no longer myself. What goes on right now? This is, you know, earlier I mentioned the word angry. Now, anger is, um, this is a weakness. I believe that if you get angry, you should get out of the picture. If you get angry a few times, you should not even be in the country. 
This is basically the way I feel. Um, there is no reason for one to be angry. There is no reason for the police to decline assistance. There is no reason for your things have been destroyed for you to be inside of the below zero sub-zero temperatures already i don't know i don't know for how long i am there like this already maybe even for three months this is a place where i am it's like a brick house like this that keeps the temperature ice cold inside even if you have sunny outside weather it's like this and this is the, this this was already like two months ago two and a half months ago in this place where i am in this place where i'm not allowed basically to use the furnace of my own i either condition to throw the money away through the furnace that is located right outside basically like uh outside of the unit or buy myself uh electric heater and heat something like this with electric heater this is a total total uh in economic situation as I am, that would be like a suicide, really. Totally impossible conditions like this. Close the water and stuff like this that you cannot even wash yourself with whatever ice water or whatever. Destroy you even. Let the gas out so you cannot warm yourself with water. That you cannot even have a warm drink. And you can ask people that are, let's say, that, that you would be in a cold like this and that you cannot even have something warm to drink. You know, then you buy yourself a, a teapot, electric teapot, and they destroy you that too and stuff like this so you wouldn't have that stuff and so on. This is, this is, I don't know, I don't, I no longer know what I would say about all this stuff. This is, this is completely not normal, all this stuff. And so, yeah, when you, when you start to, to, to get upset about like that and you, you know, start to see the whole picture like this, it doesn't matter. I think that it's not worth it. I think that nothing really is worth it for you to be upset. I don't think not even your wife is worth of your being upset. I think that... If the wife makes you upset with some kind of nonsense like this, I think that you should just divorce her, just go away from her. Get yourself another partner or husband if he does something stupid that will go and anger you all the time like this, that he's just doing some something stupid stuff that you should not be around a person like this. And so I, f I figured out that because this MK Ultra was not only here in this Gersh, it was also elsewhere in Poland that this you know this is not even a choice for me really that I would be somewhere that I would go out and literally interact with as many people as possible basically with the whole city collect the proofs because there's a big 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 bad boy out there by the name Trump who really ruined my life in the US 30,000 job applications rejected basically turned down stuff like this for several years basically for you to survive on your savings and stuff like this then the torture in Slovenia inside of the psychiatric hospital beside the unemployment and so on you know a total butchery basically <laughs> Um, was used by this country, by Pauls, to compel me to come here, whether I would like this or not. So, just like Americans said, just like, no, this is what I forgot to mention. It's going to be one more time, one more bang is going to be. They're going to get one more time from you. One more, one more time is going to be the money. Because every time they got the money, it's, it was more they got than just money through me. They got a whole a lot of things through through this case through me and so but this this they they promised me this this will be like the last time and so yeah i mean when you evaluate that this is criminality in a in a such a huge proportions that you know the top u.s government 
officials gets involved in stuff like this and you know and they and they support this and you have this buckingham palace basically blocking you from international court from you know to obtain assistance from from human rights institutions and stuff like this then you kind of figure out that that the country the people this is just uh you know, not the right one for you. And I'm saying this today. Yesterday, I screamed about this stuff. Today, thanks God, I, I, it's so much nicer. I'm doing it nicely, calmly. Um, but every one of these issues are just. In the morning, when you get up, you you don't know how you want to go about the day. Today, I woke up at five o'clock. It's by the way. If you go, if I go sleep early, you're not allowed to sleep. They use whatever they use this directed energy weapons, whatever the hell they use. You're not gonna, you, they're not gonna allow you to sleep. You're not gonna get any sleep the whole night if you go sleep early. If you go sleep late, then you're more than welcome to sleep throughout the day too. But anyways, if you would wanted to do that. Five o'clock, I tell you what, I got out out of the place at about 10.30. That's about over five hours later. I did some washing, stuff like this. The thing is that I I didn't know. I no longer knew what to go out there for, you know. Donald Trump did not organize only job market like this. He went ahead and he organized also what he knew is going to be definitely... I'm gonna try out my own business and so what he would do is he might have done this just with the several companies he might have done this <laughs> however it's several companies that trigger along with them you know other companies because they communicate with one another and they know when they did something bad they're going to do their best to pull along another um company or another person or whatever it is so they would definitely destroy you now i was thinking about this yesterday because donald trump dreamed about this a lot once he gets into the business once you get into the business then you're all ours you will destroy you will rip you apart this and that I was thinking about yesterday, I was saying to myself about a story I'm about to tell you. I would go to maybe some kind of office here, government office for discrimination and stuff like this, and file the case uh, with discrimination authorities, something like this. Well, then I kind of figured out uh, two things. One thing was that calling the police was it in Lodge when they did this crime like this that you could not even submit application for this residence and stuff like that um immigration authorities itself you you have seen this was a complete scorn it was a total scorn for the whole thing inspectorate for work basically all these public institutions wherever you go and it includes the healthcare and you got crippled and stuff like this they don't they don't assist you it's like like i like i suggested earlier you're like a doll you're like a you're like a toy basically you're not taken seriously you go to the police you report a very serious crimes basically they already know that these crimes are going to happen they don't take you seriously one way or the other they refuse to do their job and so if you want to go and you want to go and it's not even about wasting time anymore because if it wouldn't be only about wasting time i would still go but the thing about it is when you contact hundreds of lawyers like i did when you do all this kind of stuff that you would obtain assistance something about this stuff and they just 
they just refuse you like stuff like this that is like completely normal that you have to grant assistance to individual it doesn't make no fucking sense for you to go and bag again you know bag bag again for assistance that is related to yet another i don't know what exactly is the most severe discrimination racism whatever you want to call this case okay beside that i figured out that in 2018 when i was in zakopane in Novi turk i made a mistake when i proceeded in the country it was the time for you just to turn around and go away from it because that's all basically that was needed for the whole thing that's all there was required back then uh, instead I proceeded inside and got myself entwiggled into this MK Ultra, which is basically a mistake, like I said, to the young people, whoever out there is subjected to MK Ultra. If something like this goes on, if you see bad stuff like this, just go away. Change the city, go to another city, and then if you see that things don't, that they somehow get a hold of you, that, that you just... I don't know what to tell you other than what I did will not repeat that what happened was they realized that I I knew what went on and because of the inter involvement of international community in it because of all these countries that did this negotiations because of the business people because of the stuff like this they didn't have choice other than to proceed basically collect the money go on about this stuff and through little by little give me you, give you you know <laughs> clues basically about what went on and here and there are some admissions and so on but still the recognition of the crime itself postpones you get crippled they do bad stuff and for all this shit they did to you, you are actually compelled to bag them. Because there's a big bad boy by the name Trump out there that wants you. He is after you. In Slovenia was another big bad boy. His name was Borut Pahor. This was a criminal that operated inside of the Poland on every occasion I would come here it would be this criminal uh, that would come here that would accompany me <laughs> um, have tested himself partially on the stuff I did got crippled cried like a baby to me that that he is health is now affected because of me I believe he did have a disc replacement and actually I saw the news about this re replacement about in 2011 his this re replacement I believe it happened uh, probably I would say I estimate just before that or after that and it must have been done in a secret his name is Borat Pahor it's now Slovenian president what a clown so they had their own people their own clowns everywhere big bad clowns and now whether you like it or not you're going to create relationship with community like this through literally through this kind of stuff um basically collecting the proofs and stuff like this now In a way, that did brought me closer to the people, psychologically looking. I'm always looking forward to associate with the people. I'm a social person. I like helping people. I like elderly people. I like children, women, dogs. And of course, everything in between, if it's clean and normal, or if it needs help, whatever the case might be.
The thing about it is, I calculated that I'm not gonna say the longer this thing was would go on, the more I would be guilty of the crime. So if I was guilty of everything. I was guilty of the Nazism, of spreading the racism, and I was also guilty of murdering, destroying, like I have explained, Aryan women, which afterwards had to marry with subhumans, according to Trump is Americans. Considering myself also as a subhuman, I don't consider myself as anything uber or anything like this. Um, just being, again, normal. Seeing myself as a human being first. It's nothing I was not guilty of, okay? But in this case, right now... But this was maybe yet the most disgusting one. And I don't think this had to do with the Trump. And it doesn't matter what it did have with the Trump. Barack Obama was in a place where I am. He did not live there. But he would go and pay me visitations. There were other politicians. Joe Biden was there. They had a whole bunch of politicians that would go and they would certain things. Uh, they would want you to see yourself in them in a certain situation and so on. Uh, you want to say bad, bad Barack Obama or you want to say bad, bad Trump or whatever it is that you want to say. What I want to say is that these lies that they have gone through within this year and a half did not expand themselves only on the Nazis and stuff like this, but it was also other issues. It also was Democrats that was involved in it and, you know, anything you want in between, whatever. The point here is that in this case, you're going to learn basically how Poland anticipated, prepared itself for the process, for the post-Trump process. Trump has failed. Trump is just a matter of time when you're going to see one of the picture. It's over with him. Me as an evil, no good for nothing, fascist, Nazi, racist as I was never charged with any crime in real time in real life they try to set up they try to all kinds of stuff nobody ever accused me of any kind of racism any kind of discrimination anything like this in real time ever i'm 48 now nobody brought anything to government authorities i never faced any kind of accusation or anything like this but under MK Ultra, it was all about me being a bit bad, Nazi, racist, going out there insulting people. Eventually, when I was done bagging authorities, such as United Nations, Amnesty, and, you know, international institution, Human Rights, European Union Court, and stuff like this, bagging them, to, have, to stop this blacklisting, this forced unemployment. Sometimes in 2006, in 2007, 2008, 2010. Yeah. Four years basically without a job, surviving on my own savings. Traveling from the US to Canada, Sweden, Norway, basically Scandinavia, Germany, Austria, and so on. I no longer knew what exactly to do, what 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 to do and how. The things aren't getting any, any better. And I figured out that the authorities are so corrupt that it, things couldn't be worse than what they are. And it doesn't matter where. And so I started to protest against everything, against the whole world. I basically turned myself... In a sense, in the best sense describable, I would say into anarchist. Except that I was 
extremely efficient anarchist who was spreading a hatred through extremely sophisticated uh, you know ways um, basically using what they were doing to me under MK Ultra to accuse human rights organizations Democrats you know normal people out there basically of violating laws treaties and stuff like this subjecting the person to unemployment um mistreating him discriminating him for their own personal agenda political agenda and became more and more radicalized with the idea to take them down and i was really probably the most efficient tool ever that anybody have used they did anticipate it they suggested me to do the stuff like this they wanted for me to do the stuff like this the first people that Donald Trump involved in this process the number one people the first people along Norwegians were American neo-nazis it was really American the neo-nazi party I'm talking about David Duke I'm talking about David Black there is a girl by the name Teutonic warrior chick Lydia she was the one of the first in Slovenia in our house I'm not gonna go into some kind of intimacy details about her I'm just gonna say in Ukraine it was a good and bad church is what I was told in Lvov a good church was a Polish one this is how they teach me Polish is the same like Slovenian Roman Catholic Church Vatican basically is what it is like Protestant and so on but it's all handled by the Vatican the evil one the bad one that was is Orthodox and we would go the whole Lviv, Lvov, whatever you want to call that Ukrainians we would go from church to church and yeah that the Russian one the Ukrainian one the real Slavic Church that one was marked as an evil one there's no good one the one that he is against that's the one that I'm gonna fight against this is how it was done the brainwash also through the religious institutions and so I have no idea how Ukrainians have seen me what they have seen in me I am not surprised it's so that time a real evil and have aligned themselves mentally to Russia I think like never before I think that that it was if it was not for the Putin I think that the two countries the Ukraine and Russia that's why I'm fighting that's exactly why I'm fighting for the Crimea for the Donetsk to go back to Ukrainian people and I'm exactly why I'm fighting for the Russians to give the hand to their brothers in Ukraine because you have no idea what kind of mistake how big how huge this mistake is what what this Trump praised by Vladimir Putin what exactly this man created incited into a racism discrimination through basically subjecting me to faces of the people in whom I would then bark insults and stuff like this if they did not resemble the pause and so on now at times or Europeans or whatever you want to call this the attitude developed under this type of MK ultra circumstances was 
an extremely inappropriate one. It was a very bad one. You start to lose respect, including for elderly people, for the crippled, and um, you know, and so on and so forth. All through in real life, the funny thing about me is that it's quite amazing that in real life it was not like this. In real life, it, nobody could understand, nobody could match my profile. Um, as much as, let's say, FBI insisted and insisted that I am a criminal, that I should be afraid of the police, I didn't fear police not even a little bit, because I was all the time under the impression I have not committed any crime, and, and have in fact insisted on becoming a police officer, on becoming FBI investigator myself. Um, the Border Patrol, corrections, that was the stuff that appealed to me. It was completely not rational, the whole thing. They could not do anything. In real life, I dated Hispanic ladies. I got one time a black girl, and then it was a Chinese and so on. It didn't make, it didn't make, it, it really didn't make any sense. And none of the ladies would complain about me. They were pleased with me. So this this whole thing did not match the MK, MK Ultra profile but well I think the people did realize that something is not something is just not that something is this is just I think it was the best thing that I did this I don't know how much of this information came to them and so on but in a way I think it did came to them on time because they did started to notice that this translation of perception by Americans, and I don't like to use that name, Americans. These are just Trumpsters, not even German Americans. These are just Trump neo Nazis, that's all there is. I don't want to really hurt any people. This is not what I'm here for. It just it just didn't match the profile of what the way they have translated this to the people of how in reality the reality is and so on and so forth and so in this case the situation was again completely different we are talking about the post trump period and in this post trump period this is a company i was or like i said by kaczynski a long time ago and kaczynski always used the patriotic issue stuff like this that would be completely sadistic really put you in a situation that were completely sadistic abnormal insane situations and have you climb roofs have you i don't know what do kind of stupid stuff like i said for less than two dollars an hour uh and give for that money buy yourself i'm not gonna say souvenirs or stuff like that and then give all this to the people as a thank you as a gift and stuff like that um being happy that you saw these people and so on you know i kind of realize this kind of stuff turned into a lunacy um complete lunacy total total lunacy the lady used under mk ultra the same employee i have seen in 2018 when i applied worked there already in i am sure in 2008 if not in 2006 probably I'm talking about this Polymex company and she does resembles a little bit Mexican and they make sure that when I came that I would see her and I came from Grotniki on foot you're talking about probably four hours of walk one way maybe something like this and I would come to this door undocumented in Poland with not even the permit work permit and knowing that brainwashed in Grodnik alone how dangerous it is that they get you the immigration is looking all the time for you brainwashed by immigration alone who subjected me polish immigration subjected me to the torture to abuse a total abuse under mk ultra on how it's going to be when i will be performing job in poland illegally in certain companies i worked in one of the companies where they had like 
totally knew exactly where the entrance, where the exit doors are, where you can hide yourself, what to check when they check the locations for people without work permit and stuff like that. And they do so, you know why they do so, so they write these poor people penalties and so on. Uh, and so state makes the money and in some cases unfortunately the people are thrown out and so on. This happens to these poor people that come here to claim this political asylum. It's probably elsewhere about the same thing. Although not as radical I would say, I've not seen it like this. And I'm not saying it's not necessary, I think that police border patrol they must do they must control everything um, you know law is law it's got to be in place there's no there's no way out of that stuff if anything probably they only need more protection I am for that matter anyway I am pro police person I am still like this doesn't matter to me or whatever I like law and order myself. I respect men and women in uniform, but I cannot respect um, and police say odnoshenia. I don't know odnoshenia. Um, this type of relationship or whatever that they have established over me, I, I cannot accept that they see me like a doll, like a toy walking around basically even in a clothing you know uh even driving a vehicle and stuff like this and so i'm kind of seeing myself also not from other perspective i've also seen myself not only as i see myself also as a, some kind of a nuisance here to the people a reminder basically maybe what elites wanted to do with me to the people what just can be done to the person also see myself as such I saw this Polish lady that resembled somewhat a Mexican lady. First, under MK Ultra, they wanted to get impression about her from me. What? How do you see her? What do you feel? And really, uh, some neighborhoods here don't look much different from those in Miami the structures of some houses are done in a such a funny way that you would actually have a feeling you are somewhere in Miami. Roads are not perfect either and stuff like that. Um, Americans were involved in all this stuff. The company looked like pretty decent sized company but you know what this must have been sometimes I think maybe even 2010-2013. I'm not really sure, it might have been something like that, this one. <sighs> After getting impression about me, it was all about you know, basically me being a Nazi and this and that taken upstairs basically where I was yesterday that's to the first floor that's where they had the secretary they had few clowns over there secretary and clown I met yesterday as a matter of fact excuse me a little bit fast I am here they got impression from me about the lady about her Set me inside of the office with Kierovnik. Kierovnik is like a boss who would hand me the application, a job application, and wanted me to write the job application for him under MK Ultra inside of this company, inside of this Polymex. Sometimes, yeah, I think it must have been in 2010, <laughs> something like this. And I had all kinds of issues, what kind of job application, why job application, and they, they went on with the story in Grotniki that I'm in this kind of situation, that I need to get the job, that you will, but you will understand, just write the application, just write the application. Then they started to remind me that I don't have the documents, no, 
I told him, I have documents, does not make, you're in Poland, you don't have a document, we have Polish document, you don't have the document, okay, immigration. We're gonna call the immigration, by the time you do this, you do this, I already called the immigration. You're writing the application, I invite you inside of the office, you write in the application, the immigration is already on the way. Within a few days and this and that, the immigrations come to you, they talk to you. Um, as soon as you are out of here, a phone call to immigration, you know, you do know that you, you do understand that once you write the application that this does go through the government. You do understand that, that this has to go through the government, the government approves this, they have, they have to know, they know all these things. You do understand that. So in other words, as soon as it comes to application, do not even try to apply for the job, was basically the message. But in 2018, despite everything, I've gone through and I did apply for this job. Which audio recording of what stuff I'm talking about right now, I have. I don't have the one about, I have just explained what's going to happen. I was told under MKUltra the case is going to be. Um, also, I was told under MKUltra before I go to real time what they did, how they follow up on it. At this company I was yesterday. They involve the issues about Mexican people, Mexican people, you know, that I'm such a fascist, that I'm a Nazi, you know, what do I think and this and that and tra la la. That I will be just like this and so on and so forth. Eventually was told on MK Ultra that When I will ask you how you feel, you will say, like a Mexican, repeat after me, what did I say to you right now? How you will feel when I ask you how you feel, when you come back to me here, like a Mexican in 2018, after seeing this lady, after going through that kind of stuff, eventually I gave him the confirmation. I gave him actually really the feel like somebody who violated the law, somebody who did something like basically, I don't know, that came to steal the work here from Polish people illegally <laughs> for $2 an hour, for less than $2 an hour, like a criminal. Like this, like this. I told him, I gave him confirmation also in real time. I feel like a Mexican, ha ha, like a Mexican. This actually is audio recorded from 2018. I do believe I do have a tape, so I will be able to provide that stuff too. When I came in 2018, basically that's exactly what happened. Sit down. person whom I have seen yesterday that just passed me by, he shook my hand, but that was it. He just proceeded like he doesn't know me, like he doesn't remember me. Funny thing, all recorded also. Please have a seat. I am such and such here, uh, like I, you know, you would not know him. Obviously that people like this feel like very important to themselves or something like this, like they feel like they completely handle you. They can do with you basically like this, whatever they want. Like that's basically how they feel. I think this is how they feel about this stuff. This is what this looks like when you watch a garbage like this doing stuff like this to you. Basically, that's what it feels like. That's probably what they feel like. It feels like too, because I, I'm pretty sure that they know what they're doing very well, what they know what they're doing. It's what I see as a collective conscience, you know? It's what I, that's why I cannot relate to this country. That's why I cannot relate to these people. That's what I see as a collective conscience. Um, you will have to file the application and this and that. File the application and this and that. Then what he does is he reminds me 
asks me if I have a document, if I have this, I have that, but I tell him I don't have the document and this and that. Well, he doesn't say that he's going to give this to immigration like he did, like they told me under MK Ultra they're going to do it in case I would come and apply. And I was recommended to them through the company here, through the Texton company in the park, in the same park where the company where I worked right here in Sgirch is located, right? So the company I'm talking about right now is located in Luch. Uh The name is Polymex. This was in 2018. Okay, sir, when you have, uh, you know, uh, the work permit, stuff like this, or you decide to stop this an asylum procedure, you're welcome to come back here and we will give you we will give you a good job here we have a good job for you and this and that this is the way it was and it's all audio recorded stuff okay so you know i figured out because i opened my own business not only i would come to these people but i was also the idea was to work for them and also buy merchandise from them help them with basically with the sales also uh, through business on my own if this is what they want to do if they just wanted to give me a job that would be fine too that would be also okay well for that matter they had a different kind of scenario for that matter I was instead of meeting with the same person whom I have spoken with in 2018 again this is all the people I remember her they have worked in this company since from forever. Uh, directed to the first floor where there is a lady, a secretary, like the main secretary for this company. <clears throat> I have spoken to her, explained her in Polish what exactly I would like, this and that. And it was, she became what appeared to me is extremely, extremely unhappy. But that kind of a stuff, I was told on MK Ultra, uh, I would be told because the lady alone has a company. Uh, she alone has a, you know, I came with my resume, with everything in hands, and have presented myself, asked her uh, that about possibility of employment, and also would be interested in talking to someone uh, beside employment about the possibility of doing uh, business with the company since I have registered my own company here in Poland and I'm very much interested in that field and so instead of doing that kind of stuff she created uh, a total nonsense uh, you're gonna hear her on you know that she does not understand my Polish she went like from not understanding my Polish then explaining me um, that they already have their own internet store and I don't know what it's just like a broken record plate or something like that like I was not even asking her about the comment or anything like this but I remember that something you cannot hear but I remember from MK Ultra that the lady alone already has a store this must be the one that has already her own that she is involved with the company and she's also selling by herself through through the side market products of this company and i was told that if you will ask like this you will be told like that because she doesn't want she doesn't want uh you know a competition or whatever it is whatever you would see this as whichever you would whichever way you would see this through us and so on um, then a gentleman comes out who, by the way, was uh, extremely violent, abusive gentleman, uh, who also does not understand my Polish language and is making fun out of me. He's making faces over there, looking at me, basically reminding me of another portion of MK Ultra that took place in this company and that one was related to Russians. They also wanted from me the response about the Russians, not only about the Mexicans negative response under MK Ultra, but they also wanted 
the negative response from me uh, about the Russians when subjected to MK Ultra in this very company. Well, it's because I assume that had they have markets, something probably re related to Latino, something to American Latin market, and I assume also to um, a Russian market. I believe they, these people export to the Russian market. And so Latino, American Latino market is more related to Republicans and you're talking about Obama and stuff like this. And so now when you make this kind of combination that you're going to perform abuse on somebody with basically, I'm not going to say apologizing, rationalizing your abuse against that person for the sake of Latino people or for the sake of the Russian people where you want to do business by the way or with whom you want to do business so you can profit since you have somebody you know a KGB or whatever that says a good word about you you know records something and presents over there to his people in Moscow whatever or in the US stuff like that and that would appeal to them and then you have all these businesses also that other not only a neo-nazi uh, option of businesses in the US but you also have that maybe Democrats you know that other post Trump era option uh, Russian market option where you want to do business whatever you want to do uh, get the money from whatever that you want to use so now you have both options you have the trump options uh, and you have that kind of option and so now you can see that but what happened was since they did not understood my polish language and uh, suggested me that there is an office over there where i can go and speak english you know uh in it's quite in a derogatory way you know um they related me to the language slovenian to like a russian and he make like a funny face you know like in a derogatory sense russian you know like um like in american way like a nazi way so you're more like a russian right you don't uh you know like where are you from uh, slovenia this is like uh, russian right uh, russian you like russian russian like this russian you know the thing is that i like russian people a lot the standard in my country is about four times as high as this one here this country is like a poor place compared to the country where i'm from all the poles they would more than love to immigrate to Slovenia. Slovenia is just one and a half million people, too bad, because if it would be a bigger country, they could really all immigrate. Situation is bad here. People work here for like 500 euros per month. Over there, income range is about 1500 euros per month, which would be much higher if they wouldn't steal the money, our politicians in Slovenia. Uh, but still, it's way better, way higher than here. People buy new cars over there like a normal they don't buy them here they buy here is like a junkyard of the Europe and I don't want to apply anything bad to the Polish people because of that it's rather something I count them as plus because I didn't come here you see I didn't come here to collect money here to become I don't know wealthy here that I would take a job and collect I don't know two three thousand euros dollars or whatever and buy myself I don't know uh, BMW whatever kind of a car or whatever live here in the luxury and stuff like this this is not what I came here for I came here for completely other issues to pursue in this country and when individual who is really nothing more than a parasite in this company does really really nothing that sits inside in there in this office and you know view my language or whatever like unacceptable 
you know, with me holding a resume, basically uh, trying to get, you know, any kind of employment in this company and even give them an option that I would actually purchase from them and help them through sales or with sales through myself. Uh, it, it really, really clicked in my head because especially because of what I have stated to you about this Russian, you know, about this Russian market and so on. Uh, how, what they have done to me to piss me off about the Russian. Uh, you have a case of fascists, of a neo-Nazi right there in front of you, posing like somebody concerned for a Russia when in fact, You know, I don't know. I I cannot say for a fact that he that he would not like a Russian people, but already the crime itself that he did on the Ranky Ultra against me, basically to turn me against Russians. You know, and the way that he approached in real time um, clearly explains that uh, it was not enough to him that he wanted to get some. You know more real feedback from me like the only thing i did was i told them that i have a really really bad taste in my mouth and what i did was i walked out i said hey, yeah and i said i'm gonna go i'm gonna get something to drink because they just didn't assist they would not assist no matter what you would do and i'm gonna return back of course that I did not return back, uh, maybe they hoped for, they told me actually they're going to wait for me uh, with a cynical smile on it. Uh, the thing is that I don't think anybody would want to return back to the company like this other than with discrimination citation basically because this company was used by Donald Trump to to get me out of the Poland basically to basically grab me like this and just throw me out like this Kaczynski related company this is a Kaczynski company like I said Kaczynski had special um, blueprints on how to what they wanted the company to sell what what kind of emblems and stuff like this Polish and stuff like this, which I bought, I, I already have demonstrated you and so on. They want this to, they wanted this to basically to, you know, to be sold through this company. So this is again a company, now you may want to say, but this is yet, but Sebastian, come on, this is yet another Kaczynski company and this and that, you got to look for another one. Well, the thing is that the first people who were allowed to come to the trade table were neo-Nazis in Poland. Kaczynski made sure that the first people that were allowed to come to the table, to the trade table, was a neo-Nazi group. In fact, I think that that Democrat group that exists out there, and I hope I'm not making a commercial for the Nazis right now saying this kind of stuff, um, I think that group is just exists out there, just something that is used basically to fool, to give some kind of a false hope, really, to the people, like, elsewhere. Because if that wouldn't be the case, they would do something about it, but, you know, it was like a simps like, shy, intimidated don't know how much in 2016 there was a billionaire that crashed with a with a SUV into a wall something like this after he was accused by federal authorities of crime and stuff like this that guy was a real Democrat that was a really Democrat person that was a really nice down-to-earth person don't say I didn't know him of course I knew him um, there were people like this people like that got killed they were not allowed to come 
close the trade table where you had major politicians deciding about the countries therefore they were seated in a second row they were they were served in a secondary position so the first was nazi money and the nazis got wealthy filthy wealthy with the eastern europe through to me filthy wealthy filthy wealthy prince andrew talk to some British officials in front of me that they have to help me because the country profited so much and so on and so forth. Believe me, uh, it was just most likely the brainwash. I believe I'm surveillance right now by the MI5. I believe that I'm surveillance by the British authorities. I believe that I'm surveillance by the international authorities because they contemplated on this stuff that eventually what's going to be happening in Poland will be deciding about them because of the crimes they got involved in it. Uh, Prince Andrew gestured me, don't know how much that's true, but also don't know how much that can be far from it, that he and the girl whom he raped, the girl because of whom he is accused to be a pedophile, basically, work in fact together. Yeah, the, he actually did help her out, that the two actually work together. In fact, it is really, really crazy and it's really strange to me when I consider this stuff, that the case such as his case was triggered in circumstances I am in right now. At exactly the time I was told it would be triggered, in addition, the daughter of Andrew suggested that it will be like a chance given to me to actually position myself on the side of the Buckingham Palace like a last chance so they would help me out with my human rights claim. By reminding me of the word imposters imposters and if you read the news so this is just a stuff really for the investigators to understand that you hear me not only the people that see me because i don't know who sees what sees whatever when they surveillance this stuff that it was a trick used conditioned me basically 25 years of torture with my basically seeing myself as on Andrew's side like this to get my human rights claim going. Even this, and you can see the claim right there. It's from Beatrice, I think her, his daughter, whatever her name is, the one that wants to get married now, whatever. Did Jesus complain about engagement party, whatever. Engagement party, yes, imposters, stop this and this and that, whatever. There is such a thing, there is a possibility that two work together, that's one thing, and the second thing is, no, I don't have nothing to do with this, I don't see it the way Andrew sees it, uh, I don't see myself, in fact, in any way, as having anything to do with this, it is extremely negative publicity, I deem that Andrew is a criminal, I deem that he conducted such a negative interview with idea to make himself look really filthy and nasty and basically trigger me into siding with him into saying basically yeah uh, Andrew actually is right or something like this which would definitely cause a real problems to me even more it would tarnish my image even more so i think that this 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 people this buckingham palace they really as bad as it gets they're really definitely not good for anybody or anything this is something for the international investigators to investigate a little further you see the things don't go so smooth here in this case mr andrew mr andrew is an expert he was referred by trump of course he was in Zgersh andrew uh, of course, he met with Trump in Zgirj, they were. Of course, he was in the US with the Trump. Of course, he was with the Brit in Britain and so on. They know each other very well, these people. Uh, 
it was referred by Trump like like he was like a senior, like a really really expert in MK Ultra, like a really really well um, knowledgeable brainwasher, MK Ultra brainwasher expert, and it's like consider that like an expertise, like like knowledge. As I said that in Hollywood, we might have actually a problem thinking that people like this they're going to be on our side and so on i'm afraid that there's actually competition going on in the real world on how much who can screw someone to mk ultra this is what i'm afraid the most it's actually the competition that's going in exactly the opposite way of what you would want to hear from me now something good is happening about the human rights this is my main concern about the hollywood right so you see Obama, as far as Obama, they were preparing themselves, you know, all this for Trump, all this stuff, um, if you want, for the post-Trump period, the way I see this whole thing, the way I feel about it is that, to me, it more looks like a lie atop of the lie, you know, it looks like lie some more lie 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 uh and so when i think about polish the only thing that comes to me is like more lie lie a top of the lie 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 and this shit goes on for a year and a half and so when you're in a situation that you don't actually even feel you've been discriminated against severely like this and you don't actually even feel like look nothing is the mexicans nothing is the mexicans mexican people are wonderful people i was in mexico i like mexican people everything is okay i would go to el paso and el paso right through the rio grande walking to mexico um the thing, however, is that I'm not a legal immigrant. I'm from European Union. That's for one thing. I told you about the standard, about the ratio, about the pay between my country and Poland. Poland was so poor. It was poor like a mouse when we came here compared to Slovenia. Poles that were in Slovenia back, they would want to stay there. And it's nothing I would be proud about or it's nothing, something that... I would not want the best for the Poland. I came exactly here because I would want the best for the Poland. It's just that I don't believe, I do not believe that lies create a better society. I don't believe that I should tolerate the society where people committed crimes and the only thing they do is they look down like this when you're asking them questions, when you recognize them and so on, they don't even have the face basically to look at you in the face. Of course, I'm not saying this about everybody. There are many good, decent Polish people. But you got to understand my point of view that when you want to do something good for somebody, you do have to understand why is it that you want to do this, right? You you just don't you just don't go out there and say, you know, I think it would look completely insane. I think it would look completely crazy if you would have developed some kind of idea that you just want to do something great for some country without, you know, knowing why the hell you're doing this kind of stuff. I mean, people, yeah, it's beautiful. I like people. It's nice. It's beautiful. But the mentality, the way I see this kind of mentality, the the... I'd not even spoke to you about what they have, what I have gone through here in Poland yet. Um, you know, going through this kind of stuff, basically that I'm going to be the one asking that they're going to be discriminated against me. They're going to be mistreating me like this. And I'm going to be the one asking them for help after committing the crime like this. I don't think that's going to happen ever really. Um...
yesterday I was I was I was really I was um, I really lost it I was really really upset about all this it was a really hard day for me nothing against Mexican people uh, it's just that I did not steal I got the US citizenship I got Slovenian European Union citizenship passports um, Poland committed a crime against me Poland ruined 25 years of my life you want to call the immigration authorities on me um, how can I tell you a are you fucking serious eh? you basically equal me with Mexican immigrants to the US that climb the walls that come in the country illegally searching for work I was in the US I haven't done a single thing illegally I work 20 20 hours a day no less per day seven days a week before I stepped on the on the firm floor of the US on the ship I did on a cruise cruise line on the ship I did this is how I came to the US then somehow I got married there to get the documents but I never violated the laws I never overstayed in any country in any place I was in Norway in Sweden in Austria in Germany in Belarus in Hungary in Canada of course the US and so on Ukraine in none of these countries where I was and might have been more I have never overstayed a single minute more than what I should have Belgium and so on I knew exactly when my time was when I was due to leave to depart and you know equaling me with this kind of stuff me coming on foot from Grotniki all the way four hour to Lodz to get the job under the table for two euros per hour none of the illegal Mexicans illegal workers from Mexico work for two dollars an hour I was willing to commit myself to work for two dollars an hour I was working here for two dollars an hour and because I couldn't call the employer because of what immigration did to me that I could not come back I had too much pride in me that I would not even go to collect the money for two days of work but this is the kind of issues that you want to mix with the patriotism because this is the company where I bought these emblems to sign all that stuff and I came like this with a friendly on the door time and again just to be like this bitched and slammed against the wall and stuff like that I'm sorry but Poland is not gonna see me asking for help I am gonna do everything possible to get this country against the wall and squeeze one like nobody ever did um, I don't want to go angry right now when I think about this stuff um, like I said this is just a lie at top of the lie and it went like this one for a year and a half I don't want to repeat the same mistake I did yesterday with the video but you can read my thoughts what what kind of stuff this is you know so really nothing against the Mexican people exactly the opposite um, absolutely nothing against the Russian people but this kind of hypocrisy when I think about the company where I worked Lex that one got filthy rich through Ukrainians they provided half free workforce here for them so they could resell one nicely over there to to the west so they got a workforce from the country that is blocked from the European Union for which by the way I was also used I was used to block literally 
through facial recognitions and so on to block Ukrainians from obtaining the money for their businesses to get the country going. So instead the money was given to the Poles, to the Polish business owners. That was one thing I was used. I was literally used and teach by the Poles alone to discriminate against Ukrainians, to be a racist against the Ukrainian people alone. This is how I was teached. It was not only about the church, it was also about facial discrimination against the Ukrainian people. Polish fascism, Polish Nazism exists. This is a real problem. This is one thing. The second thing, I was used with a very exactly same kind of purpose to block Ukrainians from coming inside of the European Union. If Ukrainians are going to go through to European Union, they should be conditioned and done everything dealt through Poland and that's it. It's going to be the Poland basically the one, the first one in line, served get wealthy and then you let Ukraine basically so you always subject Ukraine and Ukraine because of this shit because of this Polish shit was subjected to the war with the Russia and have lost Donetsk and Crimea and so on so now you understand the relationship the complicity of my situation what kind of shit I was guilty of this is also the shit I was guilty of which I don't care if real or not Ukrainian people believed in Finally, in 2015, you had, this is why this stuff is not easy stuff, it's a difficult stuff to talk about. European delegation going to Ukraine, and specifically also to Kharkiv, where you have my Ukrainian friends, which I met again here in the company, in this company. They were there basically to give me a green light that I was also in Ukraine subjected to MK Archer. Of course I was. I have recognized this Ukrainian people and so on. So now you understand that I have not seen here anything other than lie and lie and lie and lie and lie. And Trump's and Obama's good, bad, good, bad, 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 bad good 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 you know for you bad for them good one bad another one good and so on and so forth and so they prepare themselves nothing else for me to see here other than the world of lies basically and this is how this year and a half and gone by and you go through the violence like this this is a violence. This is a pure violence. This has nothing to do with anything else than violence. And you would also see yourself outside of this country rather than inside. Rather outside than being part of this country, right? Just according to what we have gone through. There are no laws. The police doesn't exist. Nothing exists. Everything is like for decoration. And so... Unfortunately, this is the situation. Pauls have made their own decision about it. Um, like Americans said, this is going to be the last bang. One more time is going to be is going to be this time. But you will have to go through with it, Sebastian, whether you like it or not. I didn't want to go through. I didn't want to come here. But whether you like it or not, you're going to have to go through it. This is what they told me, Americans. They told me like this. This is the way it's going to be. Like it or not. You see, one company profited through Ukrainians. The owner already prepared himself for the Belarus market, for the Russian market. They did this already like 15 years ahead. For 15 years, they were able to hold Ukraine like this. When Ukraine gets in, you have to find another market. You have to be prepared. That's going to be the Russia. That's going to be Belarus. 
So I can already tell you that anything you would say against the Russians and this and that, it's not going to work out because it's going to be, we're going to be depending on them and so on. So you see, in one company, they teach you like this, good, bad. In another company, they teach you like this, good, bad. So all these companies, they were doing themselves certain perceptions about me uh, in becoming filthy wealthy like this. And me, myself, fuck me, I should just go and, <clears throat> I guess, bag uh, somebody, um, yet another, I don't know, institution here for help in Poland. Uh, I am sure you understand that when you have your own business doing the stuff I'm doing right now, is not very productive. I have done way too much of this stuff. And this is the idea. The idea is to cripple individuals so the individual can do nothing. Not on the job market, not through his business and so on. This is life in Poland, folks. This is the way it is. So if you like this kind of stuff happening to you, I'm not the only one. I have seen also on some message board stuff like this. Some Americans also very disappointed about. I think this is the best place to come. If you want it like this, then this is the country for you. Thanks for watching this video. This was recorded actually on a Friday 13. But I think that 13 is my lucky number today. Today.